G'day y'all. Today we're servicing a Olin's TTX coil, TTX 22 coil. So I took the adjustments, take these off. The adjusters, two millimeter Allen key, boom. Sometimes these screws are tight, so I just held on to the adjuster with pliers. Good enough. Boom. Adjuster. This. Boom. I'm going to take the gas pressure out of the bladder. Boom. So take the gas charge needle, has almost no pressure, perfect. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna do that after. I verified that all the gas came out of it. So now, this is the fun part. Can you move the camera? Boom, it comes off. For the most part, it comes off. Boom. That's the seal head for you. We're gonna replace it. So, the professionals, so-called professionals at this point, they zip tie this. That's what the professionals do, I was told. That's what I was told. I wouldn't know, but I heard rumors about it. And then, I also, I further was told that the professionals blow out the, blow out the stuff. And then, um, well, we're, gonna, we're replacing this. Pushing down on this seal head so it exposes the circlip. And I'm using this, I'm using this Race Tech circlip removal tool.
This is the hardest part of the service, getting the circuit out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this circuit out first. Need an M4 screw for that. Boom, like that. Oops, it exposes. That's the sir clip. Boom. Then and then this comes right out. Something like that. There will be oil coming out of this. Beware. You know what? She's a little stuck. So, boom. That's the aggressive methodology. Ooh. Nice and juicy. So, we're replacing the bladder. shock boom Making a puke. Boom. And now, I want to see how it can come off for real. Removing this circlip is the hardest step in this entire job. Boom. This race tech circlip removal tool is critical. Well, or, or else you'll, it'll take 10 minutes just getting the circlip out and you'll scratch the shock.
Okay, so we'll let this thing drain and and then we'll replace the seal head and all that stuff. Come on. Okay, so we're using the OEM V-Build kit for this one from Olin's part number 18104-01. Comes with a bottom out bumper a bladder and a seal head. If the shock is okay, is, is, is fine, mm -hmm. you don't really need to replace any of these parts. This one, it has probably two years on the existing seal head. So I'll replace them. Actually, you can you can just take off this piece, black piece, so the entire piston assembly comes off. Boom! See your head. Wiping out this dust cap. Don't want to get dirt on this rebound needle. So that's garbage. It's garbage. It's garbage. Boom. The new stuff. Boom. I was challenged to use the minimum amount of tools, so minimum number of tools, so I'm, I'm using the adjustable wrench for this, but don't worry, I don't normally, only today, for this challenge. Make sure there's no dirt on any of this stuff, Ooh. and make sure the shims are aligned, which they're not currently. good well that's it clean this out wipe off the circlips we put some stucoleum on the bladder on the inside and a little a light coating on the outside, very light. And boom! Wipe this out. together oh 
dumb. I didn't put this on. What a... Who am I to, to make these videos when I make noob mistakes like that? <laughs> People are screaming at their screen as, as I as I uh, skip the most important step. Don't worry, I'm not this new normally. Oh, well, that's that. Now, fillage. We're using Olin's 2.5 weight suspension fluid. So, I just like to pre fill this a tiny bit for this bladder. It overflows, of course is good and we push the bladder in place very good circlet snaps in place this M4 to pull the bladder out. That's final position. Boom. Is this in the screen? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, can you move it? Okay, so now we'll fill her up. Okay. Oh, Holy smokes. We ran out of gloves. Important piece of the puzzle, this one. Yeah. Okay. Well, make sure you have a clean glove. Pretend I didn't take this out of the garbage. <laughs> I wiped it off. Okay, stretch it over the shock, pump it. Okay. Not bad. Getting lots of air out of this. Lots of it. Boom. Beautiful. Okay, that looks good. Now we wait for these bubbles to rise and then put the piston in place. If you are empowered by these videos, feel free to send us a gift card for Taco Mio. <laughs>
Also, mtvhydraulics.com. Please visit that website. Our sponsor. Okay, so that's that's good enough. Good enough for now. So I'm gonna plop this down in here. Nice. So that's not all the way in yet. Removing this screw. You know what? Do you have a gas needle? Yeah. So I'm just going to use the gas needle, not the entire inflator tool. Makes it a lot easier. Shove this in. Like that. So this will allow for the compression of this. something to push down on this boom and then this circlip in place boom I'm gonna pull this out that's it I'm gonna take this out no okay, I'm, I'm gonna leave it so you can move the camera if you want so I'm gonna use this MTB height to be stopped I'm going to use this MTB hydraulic syringe with the Olin's bleed fitting. This is available from mtb-hydraulics.com and the bleed, Olin's bleed fitting. Um, well, just Google the part number and you'll find it. Okay, so we're cracking open the bleed port for this major, major procedure. This Torx is a piece of crap, unfortunately. Okay. Boom. Not that easy. Okay, my bad, y'all. It's actually um, different fitting we need. Also from MTB Hydraulics, M4. The M4 bleed fitting. This one, uh, the trunnion mount, TTX 22 coil uses the old, the other one that I was showing earlier. So I'm just pumping this, getting, getting a few bubblies. Oh, look at that. Oh yes, getting lots of bubblies.
Excelente. So I'm just pumping this and the bladder pushes back, so makes it easy. And then wait for these bubblies to settle. And then we're pretty much there. Boom. Who would have thought? Not me. <laughs> That's pretty clean. Okay, that's the end of it. Disconnect this bad boy. And where is the T20? T20 has vanished. Make sure the o-ring is, is on the screw. Noob. Okay, so that's cool. Now we need to inflate this thing. 175 PSI. That's what we're going for. And I don't know for sure that now that I think about it, I don't recall exactly how to determine if it's an M4 or an M5 breech fitting. So can't help you with that one at this moment. Don't push the needle too far in because it'll, it'll pierce the bladder. I'm doing it super awkward just for the camera. Don't normally do it this inconveniently. Okay. That's it. Let's see. Holy ghosts. There are ghosts in the facility. Nice and quiet. That's what you're looking for. You don't want to hear air. Also, the climb switch works. Beautiful. Um, so, isopropyl alcohol. Spray this thing out. Spray this thing. Very good. And boom. So that's good.
and we'll just put the adjusters back and call it a day. It's that easy. The most difficult part of this job is paying for this, the kit, the rebuild kit, and getting the circlip out from the seal head. Also make sure that it, you can feel the shock topping out, not in a bad way, but just that it extends fully. So that's good. That's the other the second adjuster, compression. Boom. Two millimeter Allen. And make sure the O-ring is, is on this little cap, on the screw that is. Okay. Spray the thing down and call it a day. That's it, y'all.